Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia. This is my library and it really needs a tidy. Claudia, you might say, is this becoming a tidying up channel? Well, my hypothetical viewer asking a hypothetical question, this might well become a tidying up channel because my house is a giant mess. And I've realised that the only way I can actually get some order into this is by forcing myself to show the whole world, the whole little corner of the internet that subscribed to my channel, what a mess I live in, and then sort it out. Yes, this form of public shaming seems to be the only way that I can get my crap organised. So here we go again. Today I really need to empty out all of this, this entire shelf that you see in the background of my videos, and I just need to go through this crap and decide what is crap and what is things that I actually want to keep. Also sorry for saying crap a lot, it's probably going to happen another dozen or so times in the course of this video. So what I am going to do is uh, go through this, which by the way is a IKEA Calyx unit, well two IKEA 4x2 Calyx units next to each other. I'm going to go through this cube by cube and get my crap organised. Let's do this. What have we got over here? Okay, here we have some binders. <sighs> Probably do need to hold on to this, at least until I've got this degree. Reorganising won't do it, I also really have to dust the shelf. One cube done, 15 more to go. This one down here doesn't really need that much organizing because this is just all of my undergraduate university stuff. Sorted by year. Year two was a heavy one, clearly. All of my binders and folders that are empty. And I have a bit of a collection of these ones. If you're German, you will know these, but I've actually yet to come across these in the UK. And these are folders that have got two elastics here to secure them, and they are wonderful. And I stock up on these every time I'm in Germany. Seriously, they're just that good. Germans know how to do stationery. This is PhD related journal articles. Shit, I've just broken it. Ah! I fixed it, have I? Oh no, that's annoying, I have broken it. I have broken it. So, this giant pile of PhD related journal articles is now homeless. I'm going to place it on top and I hope that I find a storage solution for that today. And down here we have my sewing machine that I barely know how to use. It's a case of tiny little instruments. Oh, my toy guitar. I wonder if that still works. Can you tell I have a music degree? And what's in this cardboard box? Music adjacent paraphernalia. Headphones, microphones, power cables and such. This uh, bottle of cleaning spray doesn't really belong there, but the rest of these does. This is books that I don't like and that I want to get rid of. Books that I haven't been able to to sell on Ziffit, which by the way is a video I did linked up here if you want to see that. Uh, so this is books that are just waiting to get unhauled and um, probably taken to a charity shop or a paper recycling place. Really, there's no need for that to take up a whole cube in my office, is there? I'm going to get them out and just put them in a carrier bag, I think. Ta-da! I have space. I have very dusty space. Ah, now this is uh, a box that I have actually sorted through recently, so nothing I need to do there. And this is just my 
craft box because I am a creative. I'm not and I don't really craft that much but I think it's fine to keep one box worth of crafty things that you don't necessarily use a lot. Please validate me. Ah, uh, this is where it gets messy. Okay, uh, this is a random random pair of uh, rugby shorts. Now, I never played rugby, of course, but I did play uh, Quidditch for my university in my first year of undergraduate, and that's what these are from. Uh, here we have some index cards. And these are actually, I have been using these, but in the 21st century, there are better ways of keeping track of reading and source materials for academic purposes. So I think it's time for this to go. I'm slightly scared because I don't know what's actually in this box. Oh! Oh, yes! This is more craft stuff, but this is more like woodworking things. Like we've got some sandpaper and a big old knife and some nails and some varnish so I uh, I occasionally make hair sticks you know to, to keep my hair up and they look something like this so this is one example of one that I made and I guess all of the materials for those I keep in there this here is what I call my nail drawer and that's because it's supposed to contain nail stuff, nail files, nail polish remover, nail sticks, sponges, you know, things you use on your nails. However, it's just really, really bad and really, really messy. So here we have an open bag of sponges with a ton of sponges, just makeup sponges, lying around there. So first, let's put all of these back in here. Random pack of ibuprofen. That's not a nail artifact. A ridiculous amount of nail files, some of which are so worn down that I am certainly not going to use them. So let's get rid of those first of all. This collection of orange sticks, I do use these quite a lot. But there's no reason why they should be just lying around loosely in here. In fact, I think this is too much space for my nail things. I don't have that many nail things. Next part of the nail drawer contains some permutations. So this is just uh, permutations of the numbers 1 to 4. And this is something that I used when I uh, played guitar to practice left-hand techniques. I am getting bored at just talking about left-hand guitar technique. So uh, that's gone because I don't play guitar anymore, at least I don't practice guitar anymore, and I'm much happier for it. Similarly, I have these index cards with scales on them. Again, gone are the scales. I haven't played a scale in two years and I'm much happier for it. And then, and I don't know why I'm so obsessed with index cards clearly, because I've got some in various sizes. These are unopened. Ugh, I kind of want to hold on to them just because I don't want to bin an entire pack of unopened index cards. So I guess I'll put these on top of here to find a home for later. A guitar pick. I, I don't even know how to use a guitar pick. I don't play guitar with a pick. So that will be gifted to my lovely husband who does play the guitar with a pick, like an amateur. Look who's joined us! Uh, sleeves for CDs. Who even owns CDs anymore? Some more index cards. Now these are actually cards that I used when I was teaching guitar. Same thing though. Don't teach guitar anymore. Gone. Today I have learned about myself that I'm obsessed with index cards. Here's another packet. Oh, hello, another another harmonica. Did I mention I can't actually play this? Okay, that's this unit all empty. And 
I don't really know what to do with this. Huh. That's a problem I've never had before. Empty storage space. Oh. That's a Lindor. That's that's a dark chocolate Lindor. Surely these surely this will still be good to eat, right? Oh. Mmm. Mmm. It is good to eat. It's very good to eat. Very delicious. Mm. Yay, we've gotten through half of it. Now this is the chaotic end. I, uh, this is like diving into the wilderness. I have no idea what's in these. So this first box contains some miscellaneous sewing bits. Uh, we have some fabric markers. Don't even know where I got these from. Some buttons. Some needles some yarn, safety pins, that sort of thing. Uh, that really should be over there with the sewing machine. It's a little beetle. Hello. Hello. Are we decluttering you, beetle? No, because you're not crap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Snuggle break. snuggle break over. Oh, that was heavy. Let's see what's in here. Random book that I don't want to read, so I'll chuck that over there where the carrier bag of other books is. Oh, this is a, a complete edition of Sherlock Holmes that I got in a charity shop once. This is some rock from I think from when I went to Blackpool. Now, for all of you non-British uh, viewers, this is called rock. What this is, is basically long, hard bits of coloured sugar. And they're a very old-fashioned kind of seaside sweets like something that you buy in a, in a seaside town when you're on holiday and you take home and you break your teeth on it. How long does rock keep? It's sugar, right? It's gonna keep. I don't actually like rock, but my little brother does. So I'm going to put this somewhere where I remember to pack it when I go and visit my family next month. Oh, uh, this is a random tin. Now I wonder if you recognise these. This is not something that you see a lot in its natural form. This is pine nuts from a pine cone. You have to be really careful with these because they dye your fingers black. And the reason why these uh, pine nuts in their natural shell are in my office uh, and not in my digestive system is because I haven't actually cracked them open yet. I like pine nuts, uh, they remind me of being in Italy, in the mountains of Italy where they grow all over the place and you can crack them with a heavy rock on a heavy uh, rock surface. So that's a snack for later. Well it's a snack for, snack for when I find a heavy enough rock to crack these open with. Some fudge that's best before 2016. Some more, this is, just seems like a random snack box of old and expired sweets. So, just going to empty all of this out. Oh, I was worried about this one. This is just random pieces of nonsense. Including a ton of old clothes, but not just old clothes. These are clothes that are broken. Jeans with holes in them. In fact, lots and lots of jeans with holes in them. Holes in the knees, holes in the crotch. And then also, randomly, a ton of envelopes and uh, postage bags. The reason why I need these bags is because, as I've mentioned in a previous video, uh, I like to sell my old clothes online and you need these to send them off. So actually, what I should do Oh, I know. With this empty box that I've emptied just now, 
I could make this into a box of envelopes and postage bags. Okay, so I found a use for this box. <sighs> that was my beautifully coloured in Hogwarts crest falling over. It gave me a bit of a fright. So I don't want to put these in the bin because I believe that there are places that take old fabrics for recycling purposes. I'm so stupid. Why would anyone hold on to a pair of jeans with a big old hole in it? And not just one. I've got like at least five lying around here. Ugh. So dumb. Look, here's another one. Oh, this is actually adorable. So, as you might know, my uh, family is from Italy. And when I graduated from university here in the UK a few years ago, my auntie made me these little red bags. Now this is what in Italy they call a bomboniera, and that is, um, it's like a little sachet made from satin or silk or something like that. And it's filled with little almonds sweets. So let's see if I can get one out there. So uh, traditionally you have these at weddings and they are all white and they have little white almond sweets but for graduation you use uh, red cloth and red sweets and these are like little party favours that you give to the guests at your wedding or at your graduation ceremony which is a much bigger deal in Italy than it is here. She wasn't able to come to my graduation, my aunt, but she, she did make me these little um, bags. These are all hand sewn and filled and labelled. How cute is that? Of course I'm not going to get rid of these and exactly for this occasion I actually have got a little box under my desk that I call the memories box and that's where these are going to go. And you've learned something new about Italian culture today. A single juggling ball. You can't juggle with a single ball. All of the old damaged clothes are now in a separate carrier bag here. Beadle has now also decided to vacate the box, so now I have another empty box. I can go back in here. Yeah, breezing through this. May I take this opportunity to promise that I will never have a miscellaneous box ever again because that is how the mess starts. Oh no, look what's next. It's my miscellaneous papers box. Ooh. Right. This, oh no, I'm not doing this today. This whole thing is just filled with papers. All sorts of papers, letters, pieces of sheet music, printouts, journal articles, manuals, letters, bills. Oh no, this is going to have to be a whole separate project and probably not one that I, I'm going to share on YouTube. But for now, because this would take me probably a whole day to just go through all of this and sort all of these papers, for now I'm just going to put that back in there. And... Uh, forget it ever existed. And down the bottom there's another box of random bits of crap. Oh, hello. Do we have some cat treats or what? Why, hello Minerva. As soon as I make that noise, suddenly interested. Minerva. Good girl. There you go. So really, one should always have a box of cat treats near. Um, these ones are very, very cute uh, because they are Tesco Christmas flavoured, turkey and cranberry flavoured treats. But I also, I just love that tin. And even though it's not Christmas, the cats don't actually know that. So they enjoy these anyway, all year round. I didn't, I didn't know I had this necklace, but it's kind of cute. I might just, uh, I might just wear it now. Look, I'm trying to dust in there. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no, I thought we'd had it with the broken jeans. Oh, this is even more random old bits of fabric that for whatever reason I decided to store in there. Almost done. We're at the last four cubes. So I've just emptied the one that had all of the clothes in it. So now I have another empty container. Three more cubes to go. This one here contains what I like to call my witchcraft supplies. I like to make cosmetics and really easy things. You know, I'm not a I'm not a chemist. I'm not going to do some super complicated things, but I like to make things like lip balms, bath bombs, very very basic kind of things, and I keep the supplies for those in this box. However, I've just noticed that something has been spilled vitamin E oil. Okay. This whole box is now kind of sticky and gross. So I'm going to see what I can salvage from that. And then I'm going to put the things that I can salvage in one of the boxes that I've emptied up. Now actually, you know the little red drawer that used to be my nail box? I think that can probably house the things from here that I can salvage. So we've got things like essential oils. I don't want to bin any of them just because they're a bit sticky on the outside. So I'm just going to wipe them down and then put them in their place. I've got some dried rose petals in a jar, outside of the jar, still sticky from the vitamin E oil. Some cocoa butter that looks undamaged. Good, right. So let me go through this now. Okay, witchcraft supplies are now in here and this box can be recycled. We really are getting to the end of it. Oh, oh sorry, oh, I'm so sorry, Bill. no, love me. Okay, this is just random bits and bobs. There's a microphone where that I've sort of broken a little bit, like I've, uh, and there's a hole in it. Just try and ignore the huge amount of dust on this laptop. I can't remember if this was broken or if this is still working. If this is still working, then there's no point in this just being here. I should probably sell it, or at least sell it for parts or something. And then I have some empty, empty? Yes, empty CDRs. You never know when you end up traveling back into 2003 and suddenly you need a lot of CDRs. It could happen and I'm well prepared for that emergency. And finally, the very last box is my sheet music and song books. To be honest, I can't bring myself to bin any of these because even though I don't really play guitar anymore, this was a really big part of my life. Practicing technique from this. Oh, we got here some Renaissance lute music. Yeah, this is this was a really big part of my life and I'm not quite ready to part with it. So I'm actually just going to leave this sheet music bit completely untouched. Also, I am getting a bit tired. I feel like it's time for me to leave this office, go and have some caffeine in the form of a nice hot cup of tea. Uh, it's also getting a bit dark. I don't know if you can tell this camera is quite good at working in low light, but it is getting a little bit dark. So I've made it through all 16 squares of my Kallax shelf. And there are a lot of empty spaces now. So the next bit is going to be quite fun, and that is figuring out what to do with all of that space. Maybe just put a cat bed here and there, because my cats do actually control my life. Declutter accomplished. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. I don't know what you could have gotten out of this video. Maybe uh, some motivation to go into your own office. Or maybe you just had a good laugh at how messy my life is. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Bye.